So we back with another video. Today we got y'all boys with the best animations in NBA 2K24 Season 5. We're going to go over everything. I think this is going to be a good season when it comes to the new animations and some stuff i really been waiting for. Hopefully they drop in this season. We're going to go over all the new stuff. We're going to go over the season rewards. We're going to go over all the best animations. If you guys do want more videos like this, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, man, let's hop into it. All right, so let's look at the uh, new season rewards for the new season. I ain't looked at these at all. Let's see. All right. Um, I don't think I got no tokens, right? Yeah, all right. Let's just get straight to the season rewards. All right, so season five. Oh, they got my boy Spo. James. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm not I'm not going to play what's it called. But they got the three new mascots. We know we get three new mascots every single season. What is that suit? Okay, I'm going to just, just, just rock out with the regular little game. Um, a glow necklace. Um, we're just gonna keep, we're just gonna go straight to it. All right, so level one, you get an eye patch season. Oh, well, that's the premium. We gonna just go through these and see what you get. Okay, I don't really mess with the trails, drop shot meter, a green release basketball, Grady Dick and Scoot Henderson banners. Interesting winter circle. So I guess we re rolling, re rolling those little badge perks. Um, Clippers and Knicks team banners. Sun hat. Some more banners. Okay, these are... Will you get a mascot at level 20? At level 20 is kind of crazy. A mascot at level 20 is insane. Okay, then you get a silver floor setter at 21. Mascot at level 20 kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. 60 skill boosts? Wait, what? 60 skill boost for 10 games? I'm guessing that's every category, so you get 60 total. That was kind of a weird way to say it. Okay, I guess we got like a Dennis Rodman hairstyle, some boosted accessories, um, stylized jacket. Oh, sh boy, they got a jetpack. Hold on, this season may be tough. Hold on. This season actually might be tough. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'm just not paying attention to these these seasons, but was mascot like a level 20? That seems crazy. Uh, Larry Bird, Tim Duncan, that's actually kind of tough. Motorized dirt bike. Why is there a dirt bike at 39? But I ain't gonna lie, that astronaut suit tough. I'm not even gonna cap to you. That astronaut astronaut suit kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie, this jetpack, bro, jetpack and what's it gonna throw me off? All right, though, that's the awards. Let's get into the animations. All right, so this is what I really came here for. I'm gonna be honest, we are gonna go over jump shots, but I wanna go into the playmaking. Now, I've been waiting on the dribble style all year to drop. Let's see, let's show off. Devin Booker dribble style is now in the game. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, this may change a couple things when it comes to bills, I ain't gonna lie. Devin Booker, I've been saying all year, Arguably the best dribble style in the game in comparison to the stuff like Michael Jordan. That's a starter three. Kyrie Irving, only guards get it. Devin Booker, you need an 80 plus and under 6'10. Yeah, I think this is hey, this is what I was waiting on. So I'm, I'm just gonna see what this joint look like in game. Hopefully, it's not nerfed or anything since like the start of the game when I was testing stuff like that. But yeah, that should be a big deal. That should be big time. Now, pass styles, I don't think there's no new pass styles. Um, signature size ups. Okay, so we pretty much, all the new stuff is going to just be Devin Booker stuff. I'm kind of getting used to it at this point. But, hey, at least we got the dribble style. But let me see if the, let me see what the Devin Booker look like at least, minimum, since we already here. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Nobody's using that. Devin Booker breakdown. Do y'all use these? This is, like, supposed to be, like, a big addition. The great the aggressive breakdown and the regular breakdown. Do y'all actually use these? I mean, I sometimes find myself using them, but I, they kind of just became like muscle memory, part of my dribble style, my dribble moves. His escape don't look horrible. I'm not gonna lie, his escape actually don't look horrible, and it's only 75. Combo move, I know I'm not using this. Hey, that's not horrible, hold on. Oh no. Crossover? Oh no. It don't look bad. Behind the back? Hold on. 
I don't know. I may gotta test that joint out. That one look horrible. Wait, they got season five spin move for Kobe? This shit looks slow as hell. Oh, hold on. Tween the leg spin? Oh, no, that look kind of tough. There's no D-book, though. Okay, that makes sense. D-book step back. Okay, I may gotta look at this one, too. This looks solid. This looks solid. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that looks solid. I'm not even gonna cap. D-book, triple threat style. Okay, I'm not really tripping on that too much. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay, we already know they got the lay. Let's see. Okay, they got D book layup 85, 610. So you can be a guard and swing and use this, but you gotta have an 85 plus. Damn, I'm not gonna lie. I've ranked the layups a little early in the year, I see, bro. We're getting outdated on that aspect. Okay, they added a dunk package for D book. It's probably just the same thing as what they had last year. I'm not gonna lie. Looks solid, though, but 80, 60, I mean, come on, bro. D book dribble pull up. Okay, I see some people saying dribble pull up. This looks solid. Hold on. This looks solid. Hold on. That looks solid. That looks smooth. I ain't gonna lie. That looks smooth. I ain't even gonna cap. No, nah, that looks solid. Hold on. That looks solid. Why is it under six foot five? Bro, they trolling. Nah, that was that was six ten, right? Okay. Okay, I don't know. They trolling with that. Okay, D-Book Hop Jumper. Now nah, that looks solid. Hold on. Yeah, that's all those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they got a post fade. We don't care too much about that. Post hook. Post hop shot. D-Book is one of the most skilled players in the league, so I'm not too surprised by this. And then they got the D-Book Jump Shot. So that means you now can do D-Book Releases. Um... Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say with our height requirements, at least. Under 6'10. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Look at the defensive immunity and time and stability. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I think this is gonna I think D Book gonna actually give us a mix up in a lot of different ways. I was only really expecting the dribble style. Hopefully that joint really is like that. But that hey, it looked like he got a couple of little something things when it comes to this. You know what I'm saying? The dribble pull-ups. Maybe the releases, maybe the base. I don't know. But let's hop into the best animations for the season. All right, so let's just hop straight into it. Now, when it comes to the best animations, we're going to go over everything. We're going to go over jump shots. We're going to go over drill moves. We're going to go over everything. But let's hop straight into it. All right, so first things first is going to be the jump shots. I probably threw in like the little um, shot visual cue that Mike Wayne gave us early in the year for people that really need to know how that works because that is important. Depending on what visual cue, you're going to use a different jump shot. I use set point. So my jump shot is going to be different. That should be known. So don't go in the comments with a different uh, visual cue and not and be like, they're joint trash. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is to me. But hey, let's get into it. Now, when it comes to the bases, I'm going to give y'all three bases. I'm going to give y'all three releases. I'm going to go for guards. I'm going to go for bigs. And I'm going to go for swings. All right, now first is going to be the guards. I'm going to give y'all three bases. Stephen Curry, where bro at? I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. John Wall. Um, this I'm gonna actually give y'all one and three. John Wall is definitely gonna be on the lower end of the spectrum. Guards is just kind of tougher to get y'all kind of good basis on the lower end. Um, Jerry West, that's my favorite, and John Stockton. Now, there's some other solid ones when it comes to guards. Guards, y'all probably have the best catalog. Jalen Bronson is a good one. Um, Cole Anthony is a good one. It's a lot of really good bases you can really go for for the guards. But I'm going to be doing this based off of Stephen Curry. Now, the releases I use is Brandon Popzimski and Tony Parker. I use set point, though, so keep that in mind. And then I go uh, max speed, and I go 75-25. Now, you can blend this how you want. I do it so I can um, have 75-25 like I use for the uh, Larry Bird, but I did mix it up a little bit. Um... One thing you can do on guards now, I believe you can get the D book. Yeah, you can get D book. So I can pretty much have kind of very similar basis in terms of, or not basis, but um, upper releases on all my bills now. Because Booker's on guards, Booker's on swings. I don't really have like a six foot ten up big that can shoot besides my six ten KD build. So yeah, there's only really one of those. Most of my bills is guards and swings. But, yeah, that's pretty much the jump shots I would personally recommend when it comes to guards. All right, now when it comes to the swings, um, swings, 
I'm gonna be honest, y'all got some of the best jump shots. Let's hop into them. Um, bases, I use. Now, you gotta keep it in mind. I use set point. Let me say it again, I use set point. All these jump shots, kind of muscle memory for me. It may not work for you, but for me, they are gonna work. So, Romeo Lanford, that's the main one I go to. I use 78, three ball for majority of these, but I did move up on it because I now use, I'm gonna try to use Devin Booker. I ain't gonna say I now use, but this is how I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna go uh, quick. 2080 simple as that that's pretty much what i'm gonna use but you see it's 80 plus so i'm still gonna have to have on like my lock my big still got to be like 78 plus you know what i'm saying but it what it is um but yo romeo langford that's one of the bases uh, when it comes to other bases i would use actually personally use um torium prince wherever bro is torium prince um pretty much the same or or let me I don't know why I did that. I ain't gonna lie. Let me change this joint back to lane for it. Yeah, but yeah. Then when it comes to Torian Prince, Torian Prince, I'm using Torian Prince like this. Brandon Popsiewski, Devin Booker, quick, 595 more. So blended to Devin Booker. This was the best feel I could get for the Torian Prince. I don't want to throw nobody off. 80 20 for the Langford, 95 5 for the Torian Prince. Now, when it comes to actual jump shots anybody can use, um, people been telling me those jump shots don't work for me. They they not good. They trash. So I'm gonna give y'all some extra ones for the people that can't use that. So um, this is for people that either use set point. It don't really matter what which one. Trace McGrady, very very popular base. Um, I think it's one of the easiest jump shots in the game of time. It's just a little slow to me. That's why I don't really like it. Um, but it is one of the harder ones to get contests. But if you're going against a lock. I'm gonna be honest, they're gonna get contested. It just is what it is. Like, if you're gonna get a good lock, so that's just kind of my thing with it. But it is good to get, you can actually green some pretty solid contests with it too, though. So I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's, it's both avenues of it because you get a really solid time and stability. Now, some other bases you can go with that are very popular. Um, where's he at? JT Thor. JT Thor is a very, very popular base in this game it, it literally is that simple it's a super duper popular base but if you want to go with a better version of jt thor you can go with where is bro yeah ben shepherd now let's get into some releases releases um it's not really even difficult to go about this um you got where is he at sadiq bay if you really want to make it fast but if you really want to go even crazier with it get it as fast as possible oscar robertson sadiq bay max speed you can blend it however you want it don't really matter and that's pretty much the best releases that's pretty much the best basis for the swings all right now when it comes to the bigs not much really changed i'm gonna be honest so i'm gonna give y'all the basis i'm gonna give y'all the releases and that's just really what it's gonna be so the releases um pretty much been the same all year tim duncan kevin love um, you got Dirk and Whiskey. You got stuff like Kelly Gilinick to speed it up. Jaren Jackson to speed it up. But to be real with you, just really try to go with Tim Duncan, Kevin Love, and Whiskey, and you'll be straight, in my opinion, when it comes to releasing. Now, it doesn't really matter what visual cue for those, but if you want to speed it up, you can go with a lot of those. If you want to slow it down, you can go with a lot of those. You just got to be blended how you want to get it. Now, when it comes to the basis, there's a couple different bases you can go about it. You got the Julius Randles. You got the John... Not the Julius Randles, the um, the Jonathan Isaacs. I don't know why I said Julius Randles. I guess I see it right there. But yeah, you got the Jonathan Isaacs, you got the James Johnsons. But the best of the best, um, pretty much most of them gonna be on this page. I ain't gonna lie. You got the Eric Pascal, you got the Michael Porter Jr., you got the Dwight Powell, and you got the David Robinson. Um, all those you really can't go wrong with. None of those bases. It's really something in there for you. If you skipped around. You're not going to get it. You can comment bad jump shot you want. I don't really care too much. I ain't going to lie. But let's just keep it moving. Uh, when it comes to the release speeds on bigs, if you go guards, like the small guards, you can go very quick. You can go very quick on 6 for 5 and 6 for 6 so some of the swings get very quick. But then, 6 for 7 and up, you only can get like 6 for 7 to 6 9 to get quick. But everybody else, bigs, y'all only really get normal. Now, on my big, since you don't really get the crazy speeds, I try to make sure I try to get as much speed on my release speed as possible the majority of the time. But, yeah. 
I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'll go 60 40. Like, it's sometimes the majority and 60 40 blended more to the faster side. And that's just really what it is. And that's pretty much the jump shots for the bigs. All right, next is going to be the best fade animations. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I think that this one is a little bit more of a shakeup because I really honestly think that Kobe was the best fade all year. Um, Pro 2 was in that same realm. I like Michael Jordan a lot from last year. But D-Book, in my opinion, is the best fade in the game right now. I really do like it. I was messing around with it when I was testing out the jumper and the bases and releases for the new D-Book stuff. Yeah, I really do like D-Book. It really is smooth. It's actually faster than Kobe. So that may be like a little muscle memory thing that I had with Kobe. I may got to get some clicked in. But I will be honest. It seems like it's going to be easy to get open off of because it is faster. And it is a little bit smoother as well. It's like some, it was some animation with Kobe where that was kind of annoying. I ain't gonna lie, I don't really seem like no annoying animation when it comes to the pull up, the fade, the, the little gather fade. I think all of it's tough. All of it's tough. All of it's tough. All right, next is the spin jumper. Spin jumper, you gonna go with normal or pro. Um, that's just kind of what it is. I'm gonna be honest. Now, if you can get D book, you're a guard for sure. Put that on. Um, but I think if you're a guard, De'Aaron Fox is the best one. That's just me. Now, um, I guess since we kind of got to talk about bigs, I guess I got to say Dirk Nowitzki. But Dirk Nowitzki, KD, if you're starter three, you don't really get that much options, bro. I'm going to be honest. It's just that simple. Y'all don't really get that much options. Next is the hop jumpers. Um, I'm going to go over bigs first. Bigs. Y'all got a lot. Y'all got the y'all got the KD. Y'all got the Dirk and the Whiskey, which is really good. Y'all got the Yoki, that's really good. So those are really good. Um, when it comes to swings, I'm gonna be using um, D Book. I'm gonna be using D Book pretty much this season. But you still got the ones that was good before, like the Harrison Barnes, like the I liked Paul George. I liked Tyler Hero, Tyrese. I really didn't mess with to be honest. I'm gonna keep it a bean. But for the most part, those are the ones I liked. Glenn Robinson is actually not bad either. Um, but if you're a guard, you probably, you, not even probably, you still have the best one. Um, I've been saying this since game drop. Davion Mitchell is the best one in the game. It's not really any, if you are a guard, you shouldn't be putting on anything else. Like if you got the spin jumper, like and you're a guard, you're putting on De'Aaron De Fox. You're a hop jumper, you're putting on Davion Mitchell. That's just my opinion. I'm gonna be honest. And now the best dunk packages now. The best dunk packages literally are completely different if you hit a certain rep. Once you hit starter three, you will now unlock not only quick drops off one, but the front clutches off one. Those are two of the best dunk packages in 2K history. Like, I'm not talking about 2K22, I'm not talking 2K23, I'm talking 2K15, 16, it don't matter. Ever since they had a part. Ever since they had blacktop, it don't matter. If you put those dunks on, those were really two hands for safety for a reason. But they're a lot behind a rep reward. So what else can we use? I use quick drop in, back scratches off two. Now, somebody in my comments had told me to use side clutches off one. Shout out to you. You got me blocked a lot that day when I was testing that joint out. I'm never using that again, but for the people that do like it, put that joint on. Um, I also, just in case he was trolling and meant side front clutches off two, shout out to you. Again, I never got blocked as much as I did that day I was trusting that joint out. I don't know what it is with some of these dunks that a lot of people be saying that, that don't get blocked. For me, it's just a whole different experience. I don't know. But yeah, um, when it comes to the best overall dunk package that I use, no matter what build I'm on, LeBron James. Simple. Um, and the reason why I use LeBron, the reason why I use quick drop back scratchers off two, off, yeah, is because the, the, the dunk distance. Like, there's no limitless takeoff in the game. So you have to have the right dunk package to go along with the right vertical. The higher your vertical is, the more you're going to dunk from further. Now, I have a dunk, 93 dunk on this build with an 80 vertical. I have a build with a 97 dunk with an 86 vertical. I have another build with a 97 dunk with a 90 vertical. You get what I'm saying? Oh, no, not 97 dunk, but a 95 dunk with a 90 vertical. And yeah, I'm telling y'all, that vertical is so very important. If you didn't see the content dunk tutorial, man, I am not going to lie. I put a lot of time into that, and I gave a lot of details and a lot of info. So you kind of trolling yourself if you ain't see that. But that's pretty much what to be said there. Now, when it comes to the content dunks, 
I'm gonna be honest. We at the we in season five, so I really. I'm not gonna lie. I've been doing this since season two, just playing the game for fun. So I really do just go for the elite. So yeah, I'm not even gonna try to prologue that or nothing. I'm just putting on elite context. Um, if I can get the elite uh, right, right here, I'm putting on the elites. It's simple as that. I don't get them, so I'm putting on both pros. It's just that simple. Um, but on my 97, I do elite. I do. I definitely do elite. And that's the reason why this build don't have 94 or 96 because I have a build strictly for that. This is my get a bucket build. So I got a crazy mid range. I got the three ball. I got the dunk. I got the defense. And that's just really what it is. So I don't really need that. Now, alley-oops. I do use Elite and Zion. I think I went over this in the past. But Pro, in my opinion, is the best for big men. Hopefully that makes sense. So Pro is the best for big men because it has standing dunks. Elite and Zion, they don't really, they're not really for that. But if you do use all three, the reason why I don't use all three, Pro is significantly slower than Elite and Zion, where Elite and Zion are both kind of more to the same speed. And so when you're going for those timings, like sometimes you'll get like lobs where they throw it high and that'll throw off my timing sometimes. But I just like to have like kind of like consistent timings across the board when I'm going, when I'm getting a lob, when I'm shooting a fade, when I'm shooting a three, it don't really matter. Layup, it don't really matter. I'm trying to make sure I have the most consistent timings across the board. So that's another reason why I do a lot of the things I do. Now, when it comes to the best big man dunks, um, you can go with front under basket rim pulls. You can go with the two hand under basket regular. Um, you can go with the, where is he at? You can go with the Ben Simmons. All these dunks are also really, really good standing dunk packages in this game. Simple as that. All right, next is the best layup package. Now, when it comes to the best layup package, all right, now let's address this. I ain't addressed this elephant in the room. When it comes to my ranking layup video, y'all was screaming to the heavens. Trey Young is the best layup package in the game. Jokic, best layup package in the game. I'm gonna say this. Trey Young is very good. I had it underrated. I thought it was good. I didn't know it was that popular. I literally didn't know that. Jokic, in my opinion, is not good for my play style. But a lot of, I ain't gonna lie, when I'm on a big, I ain't never even thought about doing a floater until I seen people doing the floaters with Sabonis from damn near the three-point line. That makes sense. But if I'm driving and I'm a big, I'm not gonna lie, my first reflex is to try to dunk somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like, it's my first reflex. And if I'm a big, most of the time, I'm just gonna do a standing dunk anyway. So driving layup ain't that big of a deal. If I am, I'm gonna be trying to body people with bulldozer animations. Now, that's why I like Julius Randle. But when it comes to the best layup packages, we ain't being around no bushes. In my opinion, the best layup package for bigs is still Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think long athlete, that's literally Giannis. You know what I'm saying? Swings, Kobe Bryant is really, 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 really solid. Really, really overpowered. I still like Jimmy Butler. I still like De'Aaron, not De'Aaron, DeMar Rose. Oh, no, I still like De'Aaron Fox if you're a guard. If you are a guard, De'Aaron Fox is still like that. Do not get it twisted. I still like De'Aaron Fox. But yeah, that, De'Aaron Fox is pretty much like a long athlete for small guards. It's just as simple as that. But DeMar DeRozan, LaMelo, I still like all the ones I've liked the whole time. It's just kind of in what it is. Um, but yeah, Jimmy Butler, Kobe Bryant. But I'm going to be honest, the best one for swings, in my opinion, is Jordan. That MJ, hey, my, I got a Halle Bill where I got a crazy layup. That MJ is nice. That's all I'm going to say. That MJ is very nice. But um, when it comes to the small guards, you also do have the Trey Youngs. You know what I'm saying? If you are big, you also do have the Jokic's. So, yeah, like I said, bro, it's all a preference at the end of the day. Y'all was killing me. I'm talking about y'all was killing me on that uh, that layup ranking video. It's hard to do them tier list, bro, and, have it, and not have, like, no disagreement. But, yeah, that's just how I came out to be when I was testing this stuff, to be honest. But, yeah, that's the layups. Um, if there's anything y'all think is the best when it comes to a guard, swing, or big, make sure to comment it. I, the, the whole goal is to make sure everybody got the best of the best. So, if you think there's something better, I'm just giving y'all what I prefer. Alright, next is going to be the dribble animations. Now, when it comes to dribble animations, I think we actually got a little bit of a mix-up on a couple of these. Now, um, I use Pro. Majority of my uh, swing builds don't really get debooked besides the 6'5 and the 6'6. Six, six. I got a 6'7". That could get it, but it's not maxed out. But yeah, D book 80 plus speed with ball, six under. So swings, y'all can get this. Um, six eights cannot get it. Six nines cannot get it. 
You have to be 6'7 and under to get it. It says 6'10 and under, but there's no way you can have an 80 speed ball on any build taller than 6'7. So that's one thing to say in preference. But um, I think, honestly, if you're not putting on Michael Jordan, you a swing, I'm going D-Book or Pro. Not really even looking at nothing else. But the best one in the game probably still is Kyrie Irving. So if you're a guard, use Kyrie Irving. If you don't get that, put on D-Book, Michael Jordan, or Pro. Simple as that. Next is the size up. Now, when it comes to the six size up, the best ones are for guards. So you got Steve Francis, you got the Derrick Rose. If I'm a guard, I use D Rose when I'm on my guard. Now, when it comes to my swing, I'm either using Jamal Murray or John Morant. Tracy McGrady is solid, De'Aaron Fox is solid, but I would probably say John Morant is probably actually the best. All right, next is the regular breakdown combo. Do y'all actually use this? I actually am kind of curious, but I use De'Aaron Fox. I sometimes use Luka. But yeah, I use the Aaron Fox. Simple as that. Next is the aggressive breakdown combo. Now, this is another one. Um, I sometimes use Kobe. I don't get it on this build because I don't reach a requirement. But Kobe is solid. But on this build, I do use John Morant. And that's just pretty much what it is. Next is the escape drill moves. Now, this one is very, very... I'm going to be honest. D-Book escape, not that bad. It's just not, like, the best. That's what I say. Um... I still think the ones that were good are the, pretty much the best ones. So you got the KDs, you got the Jimmy Butlers, you got the Trey Youngs, you got the Kimber Walkers, you got the, where is he at, the De'Aaron De Foxes. Pretty much any of the ones that was the best ones in the game before this one, still the best ones in the game. It's kind of simple. Next is the combo moves. When it comes to the best combo moves, De'Aaron Fox, in my opinion, is the best one. But I ain't gonna lie, D D book one did not look bad at all. Next is the crossover. When it comes to the crossover, D book one is kind of slow. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep rocking out with the John Wall. John Wall has probably like the John Wall crossover is one of like actually if you're a rim runner, it's like actually probably the most broken animation in the game. It's like really, really broken. Next is the behind the back. When it comes to the behind the back, man, it's a lot of ways you can really go about this. So let's break it down. I broke it down so many times this year, but let's keep going. Now it may be even some more, but in my opinion, it's really only three, in my honest opinion, that I'm really checking for. Now, if you're a guard guard, yeah, Stephen Curry, Trey Young, definitely great options. You probably could even say those are the two best. I still think Jamal Murray, De'Aaron Fox are the two best for what they do. If you want to do a moment open behind the back, I'm going De'Aaron Fox. If you want to go explosive behind the back, I'm going Jamal Murray. It's simple as that. Now, you got stuff like Curry. You got stuff like Trey Young that have both. And then you got stuff like DeMar DeRozan that have both. Simple as that. All right, next is the spin. Spin is interesting because you can go a lot of ways. Kobe, I honestly, like, I don't do this a lot, but I like I like some of the animation. Like, he putting it between his legs, spinning. That's hard to me. But I'll probably, probably keep on um, John Morant, to be honest. Next is the hesitation. Now, hesitation, I'm going to be honest. I've went through a lot of these. The ones that you would think are good, not even that good. Like, John Morant is, like, by far the best one. It's, like, by far the best one. Uh, Jimmy Butler, DeMar DeRozan are actually solid. But the rest of these is, like, the one the one I used as he for, they're not even that good. Like, they're not even, like, they're almost bad. So, yeah, I, I would say John Morant is, like, damn near the best one. Now, I use Chris Paul on occasion, like, for the Sham God. But, yeah, I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah, just throw on John, John Morant. You'll be all right. All right, next is the step back. All right, you, so you got really John Wall, Chris Paul. Those are really, really good. I think D-Book is actually solid, but I don't think it's in the argument for either one of these two. I think John Wall is the best one, though, personally. For me, if you think it's anything else, put on what you'd rather. Like, put on what you know. We in season five. But if you're really trying to try something new and you haven't tried John Wall, that's the best one. Um, now, I, let me let me preference this. If you're a small guard, Curry. Is the best one. I ain't gonna lie. Curry, Curry is pretty solid. But I would say John Wallace may even be better than Curry because the hot bat. But if you do want to do like the pullback, Curry may have a better pullback than, than John Wall. I'm not even gonna cap. All right, next is the triple threat style. Now, when it comes to the triple threat style, this can be any way. Did like I don't know why they made Michael Jordan a a starter three animation. That is insane. But Devin Booker, Kobe Bryant, Stephen Curry, those are the three. Um, I'm gonna be using I may even move more to D-Book at one point. I was using Kobe. I got off of it I don't know what the hell y'all was talking about Curry clears in my opinion, 
but it's not bad but like curry is just far better but d book i think i think that's gonna be one i like all right next is the past out now if you didn't know i do plan on also doing a a video where i rank every single pass out so i've already ranked that on the dunks i've ranked all the layups i did a video testing pretty much all the jump shots um i am gonna do a video testing or not testing but ranking all the drum animations but y'all gotta show support on them videos so i'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all another one to show support on before i step my foot into doing every dribble animation maybe that'd be fade maybe that'd be the pass out but best pass out in the game in my opinion it's gotta be a it's, it's between these i think De'Aaron fox in my opinion for how i play De'Aaron fox john Morant, solid bet some of the best bang for your buck but when it comes to those high tiers, I don't really see the argument for not saying LaMelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, or Magic. Magic, if you really just playing the game for fun and want to see some crazy animations. But if you really want the best ones for dots, I would say Tyrese Halliburton and LaMelo Ball. The most underrated one, Trey Young. Jokic and Sabonis are really solid too, but Trey Young is super underrated. It's super under it. Alright, next is post fade. I think a lot more people are gonna be using these post animations this year. Post is overpowered this year. And with the MIDI being what it is, come on. Post fade. Um, I think I think the best post fades personally is like the Kobe, the uh the Jordan. Um that's ones I would use. Some people may use even Dirk. I would probably use Kobe or Jordan. That's just really what it is. Jokic one is actually pretty solid as well. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I, the, DeMar DeRozan actually has a really good one as well. Um, but those are the ones I personally recommend for the post fade. I have Pro 2 on, but that's just because I just don't use post to be real on this build. But yeah. Next is the hook. Um, the best hooks, you got Vucevic and B Kareem. Those are the only ones you even need to worry about. You're toxic as hell. I don't even want to talk too much about this. You want to be toxic with these joints, go crazy. They're really good this year. Again, they, uh, patched them at one point and then they buffed them again because apparently close shots needed to be buffed they kind of got messed up when they nerfed post six apparently that's what mike wang said and they buffed them again and now they're still they're back to being overpowered again they're not unguardable because defense in this game is really good don't let anybody on this game on this game tell you that defense is not good there's more to defense this year than just pressing x even though everybody wants to do that but yeah next is the post hop shot uh you got kobe you got the dirk those are the two i would personally recommend nothing else you really even need to think about nothing else you even need to look at nothing else you need to even talk about all right next is gonna be the motion styles now um the motion styles that i know and that i use if you're a guard stephen curry if you're a swing you're using apparently drew eubanks is a lot of people commenting i use dennis rodman but a lot of people be commenting drew eubanks and if you're a big i use justice winslow those are the motion styles i'm using if you guys think there's anything better than that Put in the comments down below because I'm always like using some of these because I'm gonna be honest. Like I've all I've, I've I've been trying to test them out, like some of the lockdowns, like the OGs, um, even the Kawhis, like sometimes it can be a little stiff if you have a little bit lower, like not the craziest high defensive ratings. Like when I'm on my lock, I can get away with having like weaker motion styles. But um, don't go out there with with some stuff with the wrong motion style, trying to test out stuff. That's what I learned and yeah it's like some of these are like way more stiff on defense and stuff like that it's really what i'm trying to say but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video if you guys do want more videos like this make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe if you're new i gave y'all everything and more in this video when it comes to jump shots for every build whether that be gone whether that be swing whether that be big whether that be bases whether that be releases it don't matter i gave y'all all i could now if y'all thought they was bad I can't do nothing for you. I'm going to be honest. But some things, some people you just can't do nothing for. It's just simple as that. But you left me with something. Because I gave y'all drill moves for everything. So pass styles didn't matter. Layups didn't matter. Dunks. Fade animation. Dribble pull up. Spin jumper. Hop jumper. Post animations. It did not matter. Motion style. It literally did not matter. I gave y'all stuff for everything in this video you guys do want more videos like this i do want to get y'all more videos like this where i kind of give y'all an update because when i give y'all the video when it, the game first is in the first day of the season i can't test out the stuff that dropped the day of the season but the reason i dropped these is because i know a lot of people are gonna be like they want the best animations for the season 
So I may give y'all like two a season, but I've also been thinking about giving y'all testing VC glitches twice a season. Because y'all seem to really enjoy that series as well. So we'll see. I hope y'all boys do enjoy these. Hope y'all did support. Hope y'all appreciate this because I did this to help more than entertain. But we're going to entertain very soon. Just stay tuned for the next video. I should be doing a testing viral VC glitch video. If there's anything y'all want on the channel, make sure to comment down below. Without further ado, though, man, it's your boy Fitz. And I do, man. All of my friends are dead. Leave them in the cold. Put them in the tundra. I'm a great child. I can I see her. I make a fumble. I was just in Texas with Aaliyah. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!